historic afternoon at William & Mary as the Tribe played host to 6th ranked New Hampshire. We picked the game up in the second quarter. New Hampshire going for it on fourth down in William & Mary territory. Quarterback Kevin Decker scrambles, hit and sacked by Tribe defensive end Marcus Hyde, a start to a very big day for the senior. Later in the second, Decker scrambles, throws on the run and connects with Mickey Mangieri into William & Mary territory. This would set up a 37-yard field goal for New Hampshire kicker Mike MacArthur to give the Wildcats a 3-0 lead. Ensuing drive for the Tribe. William & Mary quarterback Brick Caprio checks down to running back Jonathan Grimes, and Grimes does the rest, spins his way through traffic, breaking tackles down the sideline, and somehow will take it all the way for the touchdown, an incredible 72-yard catch and run for the senior All-American to give the Tribe the 7-3 lead. New Hampshire looking to respond before the half. Decker looking to the sideline and connects with Justin Mello, who makes the one-handed catch for 23 yards. Next play, it's Decker. Sacked once again by Hyde. It was Marcus Hyde's fourth sack in the first half. Later in the drive, Decker across the middle to Mangieri, who takes a shot and holds on for 22 yards to the Tribe 10-yard line. Next play, time winding down, it's Decker throwing one up for his receiver, R.J. Harris, who makes a sensational catch in the end zone to give the Wildcats a 10-7 lead at the half. Third quarter, the Tribe looking for another big play out of Grimes. Has Grimes on the screen pass for the first down. Grimes breaking tackles. He's gone. Ensuing drive for New Hampshire, Decker looking but here he comes again. It is Hyde who breaks the William & Mary single game record with his fifth sack of the game and that would force a Wildcat punt. Later in the third, Decker drops back, throws across the middle and it is picked off by Ivan Tagu. This would set up another big play for the Tribe offense as Keith McBride takes the handoff up the middle and finds a seam for the 50 yard touchdown run to put the Tribe up 21 to 10. Next Wildcat drive, New Hampshire desperately needing an answer. Decker taking a shot to the end zone, but it is intercepted by Jerome Copeland. Then it was time for Jonathan Grimes to take over as he takes this handoff up the middle for 10 yards as he inches close to the William & Mary all-time rushing record. This would set up a 45-yard field goal for Drake Kuhn, and he puts the Tribe up by 14. Late in the fourth, Grimes up the middle for three yards as Jonathan Grimes cements his name in the record books. Jonathan Grimes has just become the school's all-time leading rusher. Next play, it's Grimes up the middle for 13 yards. Grimes needed 145 yards to break the Tribe all-time rushing record. He would finish with a career high 169 yards on the ground as the Tribe pick up the win over New Hampshire 24 to 10.